Um, I once fell in love with a guy because he carried a lunchbox around. Like a metal one? Yeah. (laughs) This is so fucking, God, I'm so embarrassed. Um, Yeah, he's a sweetheart. He's a a really sweet guy. I really like him. I think I'm going to stay married to him. (laughs) I think you should. (laughs) I think that sounds like a great idea, Christina. Oh, I'm so thrilled. I'm going to go puke in the parking lot because I'm so embarrassed. (laughs) No. I'm so excited to see you tonight. You guys aren't even ready for today's episode. I'm so excited to introduce my guest, you guys. You already know her. She's the ultimate mommy. She's got the podcast, Your Mom's House. She's got Where My Mom's At, as well as multiple Netflix specials. Give it up for Christina P. Woo! Lauren, I'm so pumped to be here. Uh, and I'm... uh, dying bro you're the queen i'm so th- this is a beautiful set you're doing a great job and i i have to say i'm a little worried to disappoint you because i've been i haven't been single since 2005 that's okay since friendster <laughs> i think tom and i actually communicated calling each other i don't i think maybe we texted wow uh, maybe that's how old <laughs> this relationship is but anyway, okay. Well, I don't even have to tell How, what you do we the do? menu. I mean, we we <laughs> created this together. So <laughs> shit. Um, uh, let's uh, start off with the appetizer questions. Sure. Okay. When did you start being goth? <laughs> the day I was born, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was born dark. Um, okay, I can tell you the exact moment. Um, okay, so I was in um, seventh grade, and. I was a fucking dork and I tr- I tried to try out for the drill team and I just, I wasn't cool. Like I could not be cool. And my friend Jenny, who I'm still best friends with, she's been on my shows, Jenny Pellant, her older sister, Jessica, was a goth and her walls were painted black in her room and she loved Robert Smith from The Cure and these cool bands, Joy Division. Joy Division. And I was like, I think I want to be Jessica Pellant. Like I wanted to be her. <laughs> and then by the time I was 13... It was just like all black. I crossed over and I was smoking cigarettes and just full of like I had become who I am at like 13. <laughs> like I remember being alone in my room. Like I punched out the uh, screen in my apartment complex. I lived in a shitty apartment with my mom. Just punched out the screen and then just <sighs> like smoke out the window. You know, and I was like, I was a latchkey kid. My mother wasn't home until like 630 at night. Just do what I want. Yeah. And that was it. Did you ever meet anyone at Hot Topic? First of all, Hot Topic didn't exist when I was goth. Oh my God. Well, how'd you, That's how, how old I Where'd you get your clothes? Melrose. Oh. Melrose. You had to go to vintage. There's a store called Aardvarks. And then you had to like go to smelly vintage stores and buy these velvet dresses that smelled like armpits and sweat and smoke and then cut them up. And yeah, I was cutting up fishnets, uh, stockings, cutting out the crotch and making them into shirts and arms and shit. <laughs> like it was DIY, baby. <laughs> DIY. Has yeah. Tom ever gone goth for you? Hilarious. Never. I he was what? no. Never. And can I tell you something? I So he played football in high school. Like we were total opposites. If we were in like a teen movie, he would be like the high school football player and I'd be like the angry goth girl. No. And I don't want him to cuz he's like a man. Like the, can I tell you something like real talk like the goth dudes that I banged were kind of like betas. Like they're not <laughs> They're sweet betas, don't get me wrong. And I'm still friends with them, but... Yeah, well, that's why you didn't marry one. Exactly. Exactly. Because I I don't want my husband to cry more than I do (laughs) or be more bummed out than me. Like, I need a normal force. Have you ever dated goth? Uh, One time. Actually, my first boyfriend, I think ever, was goth. No. Oh, yeah. His name was Corey. Corey, what a great name. And he had a mohawk. Yeah. And he dressed like full Hot Topic. Yeah. And uh, I was 16. And um, we, I went to a private school. So I was homeschooled up until then. And he would walk the hallways and we would pretend like we didn't know each other. Of course. Because I was a cheerleader. (gasps) And he was this like goth guy. And so it was this like secret little love thing. And I dated him like for a year. And? We kissed. You just Frenched. You didn't go all the way. No. Because I was like, I don't know. Like in my head, I was just like, 
you're my boyfriend, but we didn't ever really do anything. Yeah. Yeah, my first love, like my first boyfriend was so deep goth guy. But I have to tell you, because I was so fucked up as a teenager that he was perfect. It was just perfect for that time of my life. You know what I mean? Like a yeah. sweet goth guy. He just, he waited, he waited so long for me to have sex with him. You know, just just hanging in there. Just feeling those feelings. Just sweet, sweetheart. You know, I, I, God bless the goth boys. They saved me in, in high school, really. Yeah. Because I was so vulnerable. I needed, I needed that sweetness. What's a goth girl's weakness? <sighs> oh my God, I'm such a dork. Um, this is so embarrassing, yeah. <laughs> This is what it's like to date. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, I'll tell you what I really, like, when I was a teenager. Well, anyway, any guy that knows the, the music I like. You know what I mean? If you like the same band. Like, if a guy has, like, a Bauhaus tattoo, probably, I'd be like, it's pretty hot. This guy, <laughs> this guy knows what he's doing. Such a dork. Um, I once fell in love with a guy because he carried a lunchbox around. Like a metal like, one? Yeah. <laughs> this is so fucking... God, I'm so embarrassed. Um, yeah, that's what they did in the 90s. Like, you carry around a lunchbox and you put, like, your stickers on it. And he had, like, a Book of the Dead inside of it. And I was like, oh, my God, it's so cool. <laughs> this guy's so deep. Like, they're, they're not. <laughs> they're just trying to get laid like every other guy. Yeah. They're no deeper than the football players, you know? <laughs> it's just a... It's a game. It's a racket. I'm such a oh black nail polish. Mm -hmm. If a guy wore like a black velvet skirt, I would be like, oh my god, this guy's fucking hot. Really? Oh, I loved it. I loved like black velvet skirts on a guy. It was like, there was one guy at Helter Skelter at this club I used to go to every Wednesday, <laughs> and um, he wore a, a velvet skirt. My stepsister and I were like, there he is. There he <laughs> like we just <laughs> really got me going. What is the best dating advice that you I'm would so give to a single girl? That's okay. We'll segue. I want to hate myself. No. Ah, okay, what now? If you could give a single girl yeah. some dating advice, what would you say to her? How old? Let's say she's like 21. Oh, 21. Fuck. Just bang them all. <laughs> <laughs> bang them all because men are so immature. That you're not gonna you're not gonna lock anyone down. You don't don't even start thinking yet about the husband stuff. But I will say, bang dudes quietly. Don't tell everybody. Shut the fuck up about it. Just go do your business. Bang girls. Bang guys. Bang fucking dogs. Trans. Whatever you want. But keep an eye out for the good ones in your college. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep the solid dudes in your back pocket. Like, befriend them, but don't fuck them or date them or nothing until you're kind of, like, older and you're ready to, like, settle down with a boy. Yeah. And then call that that guy up, like, that one you had your eyes on. And they'll be like, what's up, dude? What's up, fucking Rick? <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll be stoked to talk to you. Yeah. But keep, him, keep a good one in your back pocket. But don't fuck him. Here are some main course questions. Have Until you're you ready. ever dated someone that you had to hide from your friends or family? Like oh my God. Yes. Yeah, stop. <laughs> I'm going to fucking puke. I'm so. <laughs> Why did you hide them? I'm going to puke because like. I dated, I dated a short king once. <laughs> and. Um, How short? God damn it. God damn it. Lauren. Like, are we talking? I'm, gonna, I'm sweating. I'm so small embarrassed. person. LP, no! <laughs> like Peter Denklage, no. He was just a short, like short, like I don't know, like I'm, he, like to, to you had hear. To, you had to, he looked up to kiss you. Oh my God, I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, and like, have you ever, have you ever been like, just worn down by a guy? Like, like he wore me down to you the had, point. Well, yeah, you just stooped to his level. <laughs> <laughs> He courted and courted and courted and courted and just wore me down till finally I was like, all right, I'll fuck you. God damn it. <laughs> and then he was just charming and he had a good personality. And then, yeah, I was like, but I would, I totally denied it to my friends and stuff. I'm like, we're not banging. I'll never fuck that guy. He's so little. <laughs> Did he have a big dick? No. Oh man. Oh, so what was the upside? He was charming. He was super goth. Yeah. Oh, Christina. <laughs> He was super cool. Uh, he had cool tattoos. Do you consider yourself romantic? Um, 
here's the deal is that I want to be, but I'm so embarrassed by actual intimacy that I get really uncomfortable. What do you mean? Like sweet Tom, like Tom's so romantic and sweet. And I'm like, I get so anxious by the feelings, you know? Like, if you even ask him about it, he's like, she's the worst. If I'm like, I love you, babe, like, sincerely, I'll be like, yeah, I know. Got it. Thanks. Like, I can't. (laughs) (laughs) Even after all these years? I mean, I've gotten better. I've gotten so much better Mm -hmm. where I can have genuine, you know? Um, Yeah, it's embarrassing, though. Uh, I don't like it. Well, what's your perfect date night look like? Okay, with Tom or with, like, a real person? (laughs) It's Christina. (laughs) It's Tom. Oh, with someone else? A romantic (laughs) partner? Okay. um, Oh, for Tommy and I? He's, okay, so Tom's really great about, he's a good foodie. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, he likes restaurants, like, good food restaurants? He loves it. He loves it. So, like, he'll find some dope, weird place in Austin. And I like to just eat and get hammered with him. And by hammered, I mean I drink two whole glasses of white wine. <laughs> and like... Lightweight. Yeah, I'm not really, you know. And I just, um, I like watching him get excited about food. He'll be like, oh my gosh. You know, like when they you go to these ridiculous restaurants and they're like, we light, um, we light this bone marrow on fire and then it drizzles into your macaroni. And you're like, I, I don't care. I, I'm just like so garbage. Yeah. But he's like, wow, really? And then what kind of, what spoon should I use to eat it with? Like he loves to, and I like to watch him get excited. And then, oh wait, but you fuck first. You should always fuck before <laughs> the date. Have I not said that? That's my key, especially for Valentine's Day. Fuck first. I yeah. heard Dan Savage say this ages ago. Makes so much sense. So sorry, before the date, he and I fuck. So then like he's calm and he can actually listen to me on the date. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then I just drink and then we laugh and make fun of people. I mean, that yeah. sounds like a pretty perfect date night. Yeah, we had a good one. We went to Hawaii over um, New Year's and we did that. Yeah, we just like laughed. And oh, we, we do this thing where we guess people's lives. Like mm-hmm. I like to look at strangers and be like, okay, that guy's a drug runner. That's his hoe wife, da, 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 da. And we like to guess people's lives. And sometimes we ask them like, hey, what's your life? We're just curious. <laughs> do they tell you? Yes. That's Every time. Why. Have you ever been correct? Yes. 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 Just uh, like half partial correct, partially. Because I'm a comic. I feel like I read people for a living. Yeah. Partially, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Do you have a celebrity crush? Oh, my God. Hello, tons. Okay. I'm, I've been married for 20 years. That's, that's <laughs> all I can do is like the, theater of the mind. Yeah. Um, Ryan Gosling. He's, he's like so basic bitch. I know, but I love him. I'm, I love John Cusack. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I've loved him for years. I love Peter Murphy, obviously, from Bauhaus. Um, I like weird beards. I'm trying to think of other weirdos. I used to like Benicio Del Toro a lot, but he's too dirty lately. I feel like he's too filthy. Yeah, he kind of, like, I feel like he looks like he smells like a mechanic shop. Yeah, yeah. That would be a good smell. I like that. I, I, Yeah, B.O. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, I feel like people like you know a good brand for him if he created a cologne that was just called instant regret <laughs> I feel like that would be <laughs> so good yeah because who yeah you fuck him and then you're like oh, oh god the smelly shit, guy no have you fucked the smelly guy I feel like every girl has like I a feel dirty like guy. every guy has had a moment of being smelly but I don't I don't date guys that have like a bo oh my god I dated a guy in high school who was having a contest with his friend to see how long they could go without showering. He was a punker guy. Yeah. It was fil- like, he had like filth on his arm. I, I thought it was oh, so hot. No, no, it was so hot. You and, loved like, it. I loved him. And his breath smelled like Marlboro reds. Okay. Cause he smoked reds. And I was like, but it's, it was like, cause it was like, we just Frenched. Like I didn't do anything else, but it was like one of those hot, you know, like hot yeah. and horny teen loves. We never, I didn't even touch his D. He but, was too dirty. <laughs> thank God for that. I didn't even know. Like, I didn't even think about his dick. Like, that's, I was so young. I was like 14. Yeah. You know, like, I don't, I wasn't thinking in terms of like, God, his dick probably is dirty <laughs> and his balls. Just, you know, we just Frenched. Yeah. What's your guilty pleasure? <sighs> Sometimes I like Taylor Swift songs. <gasps> <gasps> don't laugh at me, Chad. <laughs> I have, um, 
I have a playlist in my iPhone. Uh huh. It's called Fun Mom Jams. <laughs> and it's only for when, like, I just took my Lexapro. And, like, you know, when you get that burst of, like, joy. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm feeling fun today. Like, it's very rare. And it's got, like, Tay Tay in there. Yeah. Panic at the disco. Gotta have high, high hopes for a living. It's, yeah. I, yeah. Very, I very rarely get that inspirational. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really destroying my goth cred right now. Gosh. Disappointing all the goths. No, it's in the okay. World. You're you're multifaceted. I am. I'm I'm very multidimensional. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay to have layers. Oh my god, you know what I love? I mean, I think they know this about me. I love like fucking high school TV shows, movies. Like on the CW? Oh, not that corny. I like like whatever's <laughs> on net that's the worst. That is I can't take those. No. I had to ask. Like not even Dawson's Dawson's Creek is too gay. I, I love um <laughs> I watched She's the Man. Okay. The other day with Amanda Bynes. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> I watched Bring It On the other day. That is one of the greatest movies. <laughs> I said, brr, it's cold in here. There must be some clovers in, in the, the atmosphere. atmosphere. I, mean, I know. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm getting into it. And Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Kills. Dude, I could, I could watch Bring It On. I could watch The Clovers all day, truly. Yeah, I mean, it's good. They're fucking good, dude. Um, what is the best way, way to bail on a date? In the middle of it or before? Well, I didn't finish my question because I don't know what, how I want this one to go. I guess, like, what's the best way to bail on a date if you're really not feeling it? You're in the date. And you're not feeling it, and you're like, damn, this is a waste of time. Can I tell you, I, it, like... When I was dating, I was so young. So this is like, I, I hooked up with Tom at 28. So I, when you're in your 20s, like I would just stay on the date. I would suffer it out. And like one time I even held a guy's hand and I didn't want to. Oh no. <sighs> it was so like, oh my God. Was your anxiety just going through the roof? Yeah. That's why I'm not good at dating. Cause I, like I have no problem to tell a guy like, I don't want to fuck you. But for some reason, I think I didn't know that you could end a date. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't know people could do that. Like, I'm not enjoying this. I'm going to go. Yeah. I didn't. I, I just. Yeah. Have you done that? Um, I bailed on a date once mid date. How? I got up and left. I told him that he was too rude. I was like, you are so rude to the staff <gasps> and you're offensive and I'm embarrassed to sit here with you and I'm not going to finish this date. And I got up and left. Good for you. But he was like pretty awful. Like he was, he was horrible. It's like mean to people. He, mean and uh, was like offending me. Like I, cause I, re I recommended the restaurant and I told him all my favorite dishes. And the very first thing that came out, he smelt it and he ate it. And he goes, oh, this is awful. Only someone who's had COVID and with no sense of taste could like this. And I was like, oh, my God, dude, it's a strawberry. Was he like this before? Like it was the first time I'd ever gone out with him. Oh, so it was like a blind date. It was kind of like a blind date. So I, before we could even finish the date, I was like, man, this sucks. I'm not having a good time. and I'm not going to do this. Good for you. And so I left. Good for you. It was what I'm really not that ballsy. So, you know, it was bad. It was bad. Because well, I'm the kind of person that would hold someone's hand and even like <sighs> give someone a kiss at the end of the night, even if I know I'm going to ghost them later. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm awesome. really, I'm not that hardcore. Yeah. Like, so, you know, but again, if it were me now. Uh, but I would just be like, you know what? I don't think this is. Yeah, I can't do this. But I was twenty something, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Like, I, I, I honestly, yeah, I think I would just sit through all the bad dates and just be like, thank you so much. Yeah, that was <laughs> amazing. Let's do this again. And then I would just avoid the guy. Yeah, such a fucking such a shit way to deal with people. It honestly. Is. So how did you know yeah. Tom was the one? What made him different? God damn it. I was just telling him this this morning. It's so funny because so like the minute I met Tommy, he was he was 23 and like I was 26 and we met at a bar. The Cat Club is the name of the club, comedy club. And he just carried himself like a grown up. 
you know what I mean? Like I was still just like, <sighs> whatever. Like I was still kind of adolescent. Mm -hmm. And Tom Segura has always been a 40 year old man, you know? And <laughs> he's always been mature. And I was so drawn to his stillness and his confidence. And I think like I ran this comedy room called Tangier and I would always book him because he could close a show. I mean, to 23, Tom was never bad at comedy. It's fucking annoying. <laughs> like, Seguro's always been really, really funny and really talented, and I would book him every week at my show. And I remember watching him, and he would just kind of stand, and everyone was talking and, you know, chit-chatting, and he's just kind of, like, just comfortable standing there. And I was like, wow, look at that. And I just knew. A and spectacle. Then, I love him, yeah. And then we went to a backyard party at this guy Danforth Francis' house, and... Um, it was a barbecue, and um, Tom offered me a slice of pie, blueberry pie, and he was backlit, like the sun was behind his head. It was like a halo, <laughs> like Jesus, and he was offering me pie. And I looked at him, and I go, I'm going to marry Tom Segura. <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew it. And I got in the car with my friends, and I go, hey, what do you guys think of Tom Segura? And my friend goes, oh, I'd sop him up on a biscuit. And I was like, great, I'm marrying that guy. <laughs> And I go, tell, I said by the front, I go, tell Tom Segura I want to go out on a date with him that I'm interested in him. You know, because I like wave a hanky. I'm a hanky kind of gal. Like, you let them know I'm interested. If he calls, great. If not, I'm over it. And then he called and I turned him down because he wanted to go. <laughs> he goes, yeah, um, do you want to go like hiking or something? And I go, you know what? I got to tell you, I'm not a hiking girl. This is, I'm not the one for you. I'm sorry. I, I can't. And I hung up and I was like, you fucking idiot. Like he was trying to, I just want to spend time with you probably. Cause at the time I was like, do you like to smoke cigarettes? Do you like to sit in a bar and talk for hours? That's who I am. I want to drink beers, smoke cigarettes and talk about life. If you can do that with me, we're, we're bros. I like to get deep. I don't got to, I can't do fucking chit chat. I can't do bullshit. Yeah. That's not who I am. And then I called him back later and I go, I'm, I think I fucking, I messed up. I'm so sorry. Do you like cigarettes and beer? <laughs> I found, I go, I know this one bar in Pasadena that still lets you smoke. <laughs> we could play pool and drink beer and smoke cigarettes. And he's like, yeah. And that was it. And he's true. Sitting, true to this day, that's my favorite thing to do with Tom. We sit and we talk for hours. I mean, we built an empire on sitting and bullshitting with one another. Yeah. So I think that's the most important, I, for me anyway, in a, in a spouse. I know you're supposed to say partner. You're fucking your gay lover partner. Um, can you sit in the same room for hours and talk? You know, you don't have to have the same opinion on everything. Yeah. But that's a huge thing, man. Because that's most, you're going to get through troubles together. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just going to be struggle after struggle. But can you, can you talk to that motherfucker? Yeah. That's most of it. So what, what's your least favorite part about Tom? Like your pet peeve? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, farts, hair, shitting. The constant shitting and farting. Yeah, I mean. He can't help that. The boyness, that stuff. <laughs> he can't help that either. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it's that. Just the constant fart rips. Like, he thinks I fart a lot. He, he's con This morning he farted. He goes, oh, first fart of 2024. I'm like, no, it's January 31st, you dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just thinks Has every he been holding it in this whole time? No, he's just a big liar. Because mm. it's constant. Yeah. Does does he think it's funny though? Does he do it because he thinks yeah, it's amusing? Of course, of course. But I kind of do too secretly. I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing that I that I like that he does is when he burps in front of his mom because his mom gets really upset. And like the first time we visited his family, I was like twenty eight or twenty nine, and he just stands in the doorway of his house and he goes <laughs> and just rips. <laughs> And his mom was like, ah, Tommy, Tommy, oh yeah, Tommy, Tommy. And I'm like, that is so rad. <laughs> I was in love. I'm fucking mentally ill. But that's you, though. Yeah. I mean, you, you fall in love with someone and then those little things can make you laugh later. Do you like it when your boyfriend farts or burps? Um, that's a no. Uh, he's got cute farts. Wow. You I don't love him. If his farts are cute, you love him. And I, what I, the thing I love the most is that they never smell. So I never get She's gas. Love. It's just loud and cute. It's like a cute, loud sound. Do you fart in front of him? Of course. Yeah. And I'm the one that thinks it's funny, and mine reek. Yeah. And so I'm like, payback. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, I'm like, mine aren't as cute as yours, but no one's perfect. Um, okay, we're going to do my tasting menu. Sure. So I have rapid fire questions. Okay, let's go. You ready? I'm ready. What's the oldest thing in your fridge right now? Cheese. What kind of cheese? Munster. Oh, I love Munster cheese. Oh, it's Tom's. I hate it. Oh, I love it. it smells like feet. <laughs> I love that. Ugh. East Coast or West Coast? Oh, West Coast, baby. Deep dish or thin crust pizza? Um, deep dish in Austin here, home slice. Yeah. Do you Is like that what it's called? Yeah. That shit crushes, dude. Do you like pineapple on pizza? Fuck your mother, pineapple. <laughs> You're fucking dead. That's disgusting. I agree. I don't want anything sweet. sweet on my pizza. Unless I'm having a Nutella pizza. Yeah, that's a dessert. You know? That's a good one. But don't try to mix the two. You don't you? psycho. It's like putting fruit on a dessert anyway. It's kind of stupid, too. I don't like that. I don't fruit like for dessert so French. Stop. Stop it. Star just Wars? be a pig. Or Harry Potter. Fucking dorks. None of the above, dude. No, I'm just kidding. Harry Potter all day. Same. Yeah. Best music to have sex to. Oh, I got the album Christian Death. Um, <laughs> only Theater of Pain. <laughs> <laughs> leather or lace? Somewhere leather. Somewhere lace. Um, leather. Ghosts or aliens? Um, aliens all day, dude. Mohawk or mullet? Oh, mohawk, bro. Come on. Manicure or pedicure? <laughs> Petty more practical favorite cocktail mm, i guess cosmopolitan shower or bath oh shower coffee or tea coffee favorite flowers oh uh pe peonies peonies i don't know how to say peonies it. i think peyote pe pe peony. i don't know but we went to drugs really fast <laughs> <laughs> peonies yeah uh thong or granny panties oh granny panties all day full flavors <laughs> morning bird or night owl Oh, um, night owl. Favorite position? Pfft, missionary. Lights on or off? Oh, off. Crazy? <laughs> Who the fuck is doing lights on? Ew, are you lights on? I I'm mean, you're dim. beautiful. I like them dim. Yeah, it's off. Blackness, bro. <laughs> I, no one wants to see this. Please. That's not true. Well, There's always someone on OnlyFans who will want to see your feet, remember. <laughs> That's right. you're, but you're beautiful enough to be on the OnlyFans. Mom, mom, no. 47, disagree. two kids. Botox or wrinkles? Oh, Botox, dude, all day. iPhone or Android? iPhone! Hair up or down? Sorry? Hair up or down? Oh, um, I like it up. Same. Yeah. Wine or champagne? Wine. Favorite car? Ooh, a Jeep. I, a Jeep Cherokee? Is that, <laughs> that's like the SUV kind of one, not yeah. the not the Barbie one? Yeah, it's just like a, it's like a fucking SUV, just a regular ass Jeep, <laughs> black on black. I like that. Um, introvert or extrovert? Introvert all day. Sweet or savory? Oh. Um. God damn. I, I, how am I getting tripped up on this? I don't bro? know because it's this it's this weird thing where you go back and forth. Like I have to eat a chip and then something sweet, and Same. then I have to go back to the chip and then. Well, that's why Reese cups are the best. Oh, they're, they're my favorite. Yeah, it's the best of both worlds. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, can, I, can I go sour? Yeah, that's like my favorite taste. Like the the, wor the sour gummy worms? belts, the sour belts. Like we have heads? them here. Yeah, I like that. Whoa. Yeah, I like sour belts. Like ah, Annie and I, we torture ourselves here. We like yeah. I like to burn my mouth a lot. I like to, and I like sour soups and sour pickles, like the Eastern European pickled. Yeah. Yeah. You're wild. Yeah. I get mentally ill. <laughs> <laughs> Wilds are mentally illness. You go. Karaoke or dancing? Oh, gosh. Uh, dancing. I love to dance. Yeah. Goldfish or Cheez Its? Oh, Cheez Its. Oh, those are my favorites. Really? I just ate them yesterday. Yeah. Oh. I love Cheez Its. I, I could eat too. the whole fucking box. They're dude. sharp. They're it's sharp, the and they taste like Play-Doh to me a little bit, but I like it. <laughs> did you eat Play-Doh as a kid? No, but did you? Did you? No. I like the smell. I, I like wanted the smell. To. I like the smell of gasoline, too, but I don't eat it. I like the smell of gasoline, too. Yeah. It's like a weird, like I never, I don't like the smell of paint, though. No, I don't like paint either. But gasoline, yeah. when I fill up my car, it's the only perk. I know. It's so disgusting. It's always so dirty. But I like the smell of gasoline, too. Yeah. Well, on to my dessert question. Okay. How did Tom propose to you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, like, 
it's kind of a bone. It's a contentious point in our relationship because, like, I'm so stoked that he proposed to me, but it was such a lackluster event that, like, okay, so we were coming back from doing a show together in Irvine. So we were driving, and I think I was giving him shit. Like, when are you going to propose, bro? What the fuck? Because my aunt was at the show, and I think she was giving me shit for it. She's like, aren't you guys going to get married? And I was How like, long have y'all been dating? Up. For three years. Okay. So I was like, dude, I don't know. My aunt was like giving me shit. And I was like, I was annoyed too. You know, I'm like, let's go, dude. Come on. So anyway, we get back to our shitty ass apartment in downtown LA. And I put on my robe. And I'm like, I gotta go shower. I'm disgusting right now. And he goes, babe, come here. And I'm like, I don't want to smell your farts. I don't want to smell your farts. Because I know that's what he usually does. He goes, come here, babe. And then he hugs me. And then it's like a fart cloud. And then he proposed instead. And I was like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> I'm in my bathroom in downtown LA. Cause we were going to go to the Bahamas and like, Oh, I know. Wow. In like two weeks we would have been in this like idyllic Beautiful place. Um, but of course I said yes. And I'm thrilled that I did, but I think, I, you know what I mean? You're always like, really? He's like, well, you know, I just, I felt the ring burning a hole in my pocket, babe. I had to do it. And I'm like, that's really sweet. Yeah. That is really sweet. And he's made it up to me ever since, obviously. He's a very romantic guy. But uh, that was it. Yeah. I tell, it's so hard because I think to men don't understand that to women, the proposal is like the memory you're going to have. Yeah. For the, for the rest of your life. It's like the, the biggest moment. moment. Yeah. Even more so than your wedding, I think. Because mm -hmm. you're so stressed out that day. You're just like, you just want it to be idyllic. You want it to be like writing in the sand or like. What's well, the moment that it like gets really serious <laughs> yeah, for the your, rest of your life? Your life changes forever when this decision is a big deal. Mm -hmm. What's the most romantic thing Tom's ever done? Oh, he's so sweet. He's always sweet. I can tell you the most thoughtful thing he's ever done. He flew my friend out one time, my best friend from mm -hmm. New York to San Francisco and like had her hide in the car. And then like as we like she like popped up and we met in, in San Francisco and I was like, oh, my God, that was so sweet of him. Like and we had no money, he had no money to do that. You know, he was always like that, like super classy and sweet. That is really sweet. Yeah. Yeah. He's a sweetheart. He's a, he's a really sweet guy. I really like him. I think I'm going to stay married to him. I think you should. <laughs> I think that sounds like a great idea, Christina. <laughs> I mean, it's worked out so far. Yeah. I think. You guys yeah. make like one of the best couples in the world. I know. There's so much pressure with that. I'm always like, don't say that. You're going to jinx us. Don't say that. But I, I think it's because we don't believe, like, I don't, I don't take that in. Yeah. Like, I don't want to know that. If that's your opinion, great. Like, I don't, we're not, <laughs> you know. Okay, well, yeah. I really like you guys a lot. Thanks. Yeah, I like you too. We like you too. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank on the you show. for having me. This was so much fun. Oh, I'm, I'm so thrilled. I'm, I'm going to go puke in the parking lot because I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> no, this was I my you. favorite. No, you're I've been my waiting favorite. for you to come on. I know. I'll come back again sometime. Thank I'll you. Hope. Yeah, please I love do. You. Okay. Yeah. All right, you guys. Um, you already know where you can find Christina. You can find her everywhere. Everywhere. Thank you for watching my podcast. Continue to watch YMH and where my mom's at. We'll see you next time. Drinking a glass of milk with dinner? First day, I can't wait. You told your mom about me? Just say you're ready. Delete my number.